Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2020. And we begin with California making a bold move in the fight against climate change. Spurred on by historic heat-driven wildfires and smoke-filled skies, Governor Gavin Newsom issued an executive order yesterday that will essentially ban the sale of new gasoline-powered vehicles by 2035. Cars are big business in the Golden State. In fact, Californians are known for obsessing over their rides. And once the law kicks in, those who want to keep driving their classic gas guzzlers can still do so, but they won't be able to find any new ones anywhere. Not all automakers are happy with the news, but Tesla's probably not complaining. CEO Elon Musk says he's got a new, cheaper, all-electric model up his sleeves, one that's equipped with lower-priced batteries that go farther between charges. It turns out the Black Widow is no match for coronavirus. Disappointing its legions of fans, Disney has announced it's again postponing the release of the long-awaited film. The superhero flick starring Scarlett Johansson was supposed to open in May of this year, then November. Now moviegoers will have to wait until May of next year. Theaters that have opened across the country are struggling due to a lack of new releases for an entertainment-starved audience. The good news? 2021 is shaping up to be an exciting year for Marvel fans. Following next spring's release of Black Widow, movie buffs can look forward to Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings in July and the superhero saga Eternals next November. Time Magazine is out with its annual list honoring the top 100 most influential people of the year. Not surprisingly, this year's issue features more doctors, nurses, and scientists than ever before, including Dr. Anthony Fauci. Also honored, astronauts Christina Koch and Jessica Meyer for completing the first all-female spacewalk. 17-year-old YouTube sensation Jojo Siwa, a fan favorite for her rainbow ponytail, optimistic outlook, and spunky dance routines. Also making the list is Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, who led his team to a Super Bowl win. President Trump, former Vice President Joe Biden, and Senator Kamala Harris also made the cut. Another first this year, a record-breaking 54 of the top 100 honorees are women. It's like playing dodgeball, but in space. The three astronauts who call the International Space Station home had to make a run for it to avoid some unidentified space junk. The trio briefly took shelter in the attached Soyuz capsule as the object, traveling 10 times faster than a speeding bullet, whizzed by less than a mile from their spacecraft. Tuesday's close encounter was the third near collision this year. And closer to home, scientists have been monitoring what they thought was an asteroid making its way to Earth's orbit. But what they were first calling a mini-moon might not have celestial origins at all. The director of NASA's Center for Near Object Studies now believes the object, known as Asteroid 2020 SO, is actually a booster rocket from a failed 1960s moon landing that's been floating around in space for more than 50 years. Want to chat with a former commander-in-chief? Now you can. Former President Obama surprised social media yesterday when he gave out his phone number in an Instagram post. He began a message to his 32 million followers with, All right, let's try something new. He then invited everyone in the U.S. to text him with how they're doing, what's on their mind, and how they plan to vote this year. Those who opt in can expect to receive messages back. Most likely they won't come from Mr. Obama himself, but from someone authorized to communicate on his behalf. If you'd like to give it a try, the Chicago-based number is 773-365-9687. But before you do, check with your parents, and message and data rates may apply. That's it for Kid News. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and tell your friends to listen every morning as well. Now, our Kid News quiz. What Marvel movie has had its release date postponed again? Black Widow, starring Scarlett Johansson. How many close calls has the International Space Station had with space junk this year? Three.
What big-name politician just gave out his phone number? Former President Barack Obama. How many women are honored in Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People of the Year? Fifty-four, an all-time high. In one for the road, finding a charging station can often be a big obstacle for electric car owners. Some call it range anxiety. In Tel Aviv, Israel, engineers are busy trying to solve that problem by building the first-ever self-charging road. Copper coils installed underneath the asphalt are equipped with built-in electric chargers to power vehicles as they go. The pilot program, designed for city buses, covers less than half a mile. But if it proves successful, the project will expand to other parts of the city and could be a model for future roadways. Before we go, we turn it over to Kim for today's Kid News Shoutouts. Our first hellos go to Mrs. Borma and her students at Lettington High School in Lettington, Michigan, and to Mrs. Phillips and Mrs. Demers class at Cross Country Community School in Stromberg, Nebraska. And we send birthday greetings to Dalton in Cove City, North Carolina, Carden in Gilbert, Arizona, Min in Fountain Valley, California, in Illinois, Michael in Chicago, and Emily in Vernon Hills, Owen and Lucas in Springfield, Virginia, Vivian and Ian in Laurel, Mississippi, and Evan and Sydney in Kent, Ohio. Thanks for listening, everyone. We hope you tune in for more kid news tomorrow morning.